Let's talk about whether you should wear a bandana or a golf cap on the golf course. As you should have figured out by now, I prefer wearing bandanas instead of golf caps on the golf course. I think there are huge advantages to wearing a bandana over wearing a golf cap. And I'd like to go over a few of those now. The first advantage is cost. Golf caps run anywhere $35 or more, although you can find them less, but they're pretty expensive, especially if you get a logoed one. Bandanas, on the other hand, depending how you buy them, they can be anywhere from two to five dollars. I mean, it's five dollars max for a bandana. So bandanas, from the cost angle, have it way over uh, golf caps. For what you could buy, you know, three golf caps and you're, you know, you're hitting a hundred bucks with tax. You can buy a dozen bandanas for, you know, thirty dollars. So. It's not even competitive from the cost uh, standpoint. Band bandanas are way cheaper than golf caps. Now, what's the function of whatever you wear off on your head? It's really to keep the sun off and to catch any sweat that comes off of you. Uh, golf caps, when it comes to keeping the sun off your head, they do a good job. They keep the sun off your head and they have this nice bill that keeps the sun out of your face. Bandanas, uh, they'll keep the sun off your head. They don't have a bill, so they don't keep the sun off your face, but they have a little nice long tail in the back that keeps the sun off your neck. So really this is a wash between bandanas and golf caps when it comes to keeping the sun off your head. Uh, it just depends whether you'd rather have the sun on your face or the sun on your neck. Now, as far as catching the sweat, uh, bandanas win this one hands down. Uh, golf caps do a terrible job catching the sweat. In fact, people make inserts for golf caps to catch sweat. They do such a terrible job. Bandanas, they're just cotton cloths and they do a great job catching the sweat that comes off and keeping it out of your eyes. Uh, like I said, when it comes to uh, sweat control, uh, bandanas win hands down. Let's talk about looks. Now, I know a lot of people like the look of a golf cap or they wouldn't be wearing them. But let's be honest, golf cap is kind of an old man's look. I mean, you don't see a lot of younger people wearing golf caps, at least not the way that uh, golfers on the golf course wear them. Uh, you wear a golf cap, you're kind of making sh yourself look like, you know, the old man yelling at the kids to keep off his grass. I mean, it's not a cool look. It's not a with it look. If, if you like the look, fine, but, and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's uh, not a cool look. You know, when young kids wear a golf cap, it's a, or a cap, a build cap, it's a completely different style and they wear it differently than uh, golfers do. Uh, so, on the other hand, a bandana, uh, it has kind of a younger look to it. You know, younger people wear bandanas, uh, as my wife says, it kind of makes you look a little bit like a rogue or has a little bit of a dangerous look to it. Uh, you know, and young kids like to wear bandanas. They, they look cool or they look great for young kids. Um, yeah, so the looks part, I think it depends on what you like, but if you want to look like an older old man, definitely wear the golf cap. Uh, otherwise, you know, wear the bandana. Uh, let's talk about portability. Um, you know, golf caps, if you want to carry some extra ones in your golf bag, they take up a lot of room. Uh, they're not really very portable. They, you know, they just don't fit anywhere really nice. So, you know, if you want to carry a couple of extra up for the course, so when your main ones, you know, gets hot and sweaty, you can't really, don't really have room to change it out. It's hard to do. Uh, conversely, bandanas, uh, Hey, they're a flat piece of cloth. You can carry a dozen of them in your golf bag and they just fit in a nice little corner. Uh, Portability-wise, uh, 
yeah, bandanas win that one hands down. You definitely, uh, you know, can carry more on the course uh, for you throughout those 19 holes. And uh, so you can swap them out. Uh, you know, you get about the ninth hole and you, you know, you on a hot day and you sweat it a lot, you can swap out your bandana, no problem. Um, now when it comes to cleaning, uh, uh, bandanas have this hands down. I mean, you just, they're a piece of cloth. You just throw them in the washing machine, you're done. Golf caps, be perfectly honest, they're a pain in the tuchus to uh, wash. I mean, if you've ever seen uh, any instructions on how to wash them, you know, it's either you have to buy a frame and put them in a bag before you wash them in the washing machine. And then there's still don't recommend they get beat up or they recommend you wash them in the sink. Or I've seen some people uh, recommend putting them in the dishwasher, but uh, there's just no easy way to clean a golf cap. It just, it's hard to do. Or it's a, like I said, it's a pain to clean a golf cap. Uh, this is an area I think uh, bandanas win hand down, hands down. You can't really argue with that. Let's talk a little bit about personal hygiene. Now with golf caps, people tend to wear them over and over and over again. So you play 18 rounds, you get hot and sweaty in it, and instead of washing it, which is what you should do, people set it to the side, they let it dry out. And they wear it again, the next round, they get hot and sweaty in it, and they set it to the side, and the next round, and the next round. People tend not to wash their golf caps, they tend to wear them after they've gotten kind of dirty. And to be honest, that's not very hygienic. In fact, it's kind of nasty. I mean, you wouldn't wear a shirt for 18 holes and then not wash it and then wear it again the next time you play golf and not wash it and then wear it again the next time you play golf. You wouldn't do that with your shirt. You wouldn't do that with your socks, but you do it with your golf cap. Like I said, that's not very sanitary. That's not very hygienic. Uh, it's kind of nasty when you do that. Conversely though, bandanas, because they're so easy to wash, you know, you go play golf and you'll take it off and throw it in the washing machine alongside your shirt and socks. It'll get washed, it's ready to go for the next round. When it comes to, you know, your personal hygiene, bandanas really win hands down. And this is a big point with me. I, you know, I like being clean. You know, what can I say? Uh, and I don't like wearing dirty, nasty stuff. And golf caps, if you're wearing them without washing, uh, they're kind of nasty. Now, if you want to wear advertising or a logo on your uh, headwear, I will admit golf caps have got that one hands down. I mean, they do a great job of putting, uh, you know, even embroidery logos or advertising on it or whatever you want on a golf cap. I mean, not many people are doing that uh, with bandanas. So if you want to walk around with a logo or advertising on your headwear, uh, golf caps are the way to go. Uh, personally, I'm not that big on wearing somebody else's logo or ad, but if you are, then, uh, you know, and I understand that people like to be associated with big companies. Uh, so they wear their logo, but uh, personally, I don't. But if you like that, that's one area where golf caps have got it down. Uh, finally, let's talk about versatility. Uh, golf caps do what they do, and they do a good job at least keeping the sun off your head. They don't do a good job catching the sweat, but they do do a good job keeping the sun off your head. But that's the only job they do. Uh, bandanas, when you get down to it, they're really just a big square piece of cloth. And besides keeping the sun off your head, they can do anything else that a big square piece of cloth can do. Uh, you know, you can use it to clean your equipment. You can use it to rub, you know, sweat off your arms or anything else. Uh, you know, bandanas are really just as versatile as a golf towel is in your uh, bag. So like I said, you can carry it. Bandanas are so small and portable. You can carry a dozen in your bag and you can use them for whatever you want. If you need to tie another one for headwear, uh, you can do that easily on the course. If you want to pull one out and use it to clean your clubs or clean a ball. Uh, you can do that while you're on the course. I mean, they're just 
really versatile. Uh, golf cap does one thing and only one thing, and that's keep the sun off your head. So versatility wise, you know, bandanas win, I think on that one, hands down. So finally to wrap it all up, uh, when you list all this stuff out, when it comes to, comes to the cost, the functionality, uh, how it looks, portability, uh, ease of cleaning, uh, personal hygiene, and versatility, uh, bandana wins in all those categories. I mean, it just works out better than a golf cap for all of that stuff. The one area where a golf cap really works out better uh, is in the advertising area. If you want to wear some advertising or logo on your cap or on your headwear, then a golf cap definitely works out better. But in every other area, really a bandana works out better. And that's why I wear bandanas on the golf course. Uh, keeps the sun off you just as well as a golf cap. Uh, keeps the sun off your neck, which a golf cap doesn't do. And, uh, you know, I wear sunglasses and that keeps the sun out, out of my eyes. Um, the only area where you might say a golf cap wins on that is if you want to keep the sun off your face completely. And in that case, a golf cap would definitely work over a bandana. But in every other area, cost, function, uh, looks, portability, uh, cleaning, uh, sanitation, and versatility, uh, the bandana really wins out or, over a golf cap. And, uh, and that's why I wear them, and that's why I recommend people wear them on the golf course.